Is there still an opening with Donald Trump and Joe Biden each securing their party's nomination? Could the unprecedented nature of this matchup mean there's still hope for a third party candidate? Here's national correspondent Christine Frizzell. Just one week after Super Tuesday, both President Biden this is the time of choosing. and former President Trump are celebrating clinching the nomination for their parties. We won at numbers that nobody has ever seen before. The victories come as polls reveal widespread dissatisfaction with the choices. It is the rematch few Amer Americans seem to want. A brand new poll raising eyebrows and hopes for some that there's still room for another choice. With public opinion on who would do a better job as president split essentially into thirds between Trump, Biden, and neither. Perhaps one reason why Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who continues to poll in double digits, is moving forward, even getting closer to choosing a running mate. Jesse the Body Ventura! Former Minnesota governor and professional wrestler Jesse Ventura and Another athlete, New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers, reportedly among his top choices. Some people, they just want to break from the two-party system, and that's really what he represents. Every four years, we are expected to continue to vote Democrat, an independent candidate, which some feel is, is it's a, a waste of a vote. This is why it's, it's, it's actually appealing this time around. But with more than six months left in the campaign season, voters feel comfortable, quote, flirting with other candidates, according to political science professor Todd Belt, who says historically that's turned around on election day. People are oftentimes very motivated by the fear of the other side, and they generally see one of the candidates as being a real big threat. And so when it comes down to it, when they get into the voting booth, they just can't pull that lever for the third party candidate. Still, there are many people who wonder if this year history won't be our guide. Given this highly polarized political environment, a host of legal issues and two unpopular candidates who frankly are very old. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.